what is up guys, it's Mike it's Wingle here and welcome to Nothing my there. YouTube channel and most of all welcome to episode 13 part 3 the final part of the Valley of Mines Dragon Hunt episode. In this particular episode we're gonna kill the Ice Dragon, the Swamp Dragon and clear the Valley of Mines and thus enter chapter 5. So without further ado guys, let's begin. there. One less Still monster around. Wait a minute. Your path is clear. Your ice giants are no more. Good work. Let's see what we have. In just a minute. What about the money? All in its own good time. Wait a minute. What next? Well, I'd say it looks pretty bad. The best thing is you go ahead and I'll just follow you. First, I want to see my money. Once we've got the dragon, you can have as much gold as you can carry. I want my money now. Either you go in front or you'll have to deal with me. Are you afraid? Nonsense. Now cut out the drivel. Now move. I won't do the dirty work for you. Coward. Coward. Ha! If you only knew, friend, karma will strike nevertheless. Because karma is a effing bitch. And now before I will set into the ice region, let me first go to Gore Engar. Almost forgot that one. Could have done it in the uh, previous part, but uh, like I said, totally forgot about it.
HP. Bardock, Core Angar is one of my companions, so I have to do the quest. Nothing to be had there. Hey, you! Don't I know you? You were Kor Angar. You used to be a Templar in the Swamp Camp. Call me Angar. I have set aside my title. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper has disbanded. Curious, but you seem somehow familiar to me. Yet I cannot quite recall you. What's the matter with you? Oh, I haven't been able to sleep properly for some time. These constant nightmares. How did you get here? After the collapse of the magic barrier, I hid myself in the mountains. It became time for me to do something. I strayed about for days until I suddenly awoke in the castle. Do not ask me what happened. I don't know. To make matters worse, I have also lost the amulet which I have had for years. I shall go mad if I do not find it again. The Brotherhood of the Sleeper has been enslaved by evil. Your former friends from the Swamp Camp roam the land wearing black robes, feeling really irritated by anything that moves. What are you talking about? The last thing I remember is that the barrier collapsed, accompanied by a nerve-shattering scream. Stricken with panicked fear, we fell to the ground, writhing in pain. That voice, it grew ever louder. And then, when it was over, they all ran mad and disappeared into the bleak night, screaming loudly. I have not seen them again. They serve the enemy now and are nothing but soulless warriors of evil. By all the gods, would that I had not allowed myself to be blinded so. That will never happen to me again. That, I swear. Where exactly did you lose your amulet? It must be here somewhere. I suspect it was stolen. I absolutely must have it back. Maybe I can help you find your amulet. Why not? Some help cannot hurt. Is something wrong? Do you hear that? Never in my life have I heard such a dreadful noise. What do you mean? I don't hear a thing. The whole area here stinks of death and destruction. The putrid creatures guard the rocky entrance to the crypt in front of us. Something ghastly is concealing itself in there and sending its henchmen to the surface of this world. I am almost certain that my amulet was lost somewhere here. What's hiding in the cave in the rocks? 
Something will not let me get close to the entrance. It is guarded by a magical creature. I have seen it at night, searching the area. A disgusting thing. It glides back and forth between the trees, and you get the impression that it sucks up all life in its surroundings like a sponge. Let's go together. I shall try it, but be careful. Nothing there. Nothing there. Only death and destruction. I must get out of here. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to plunder. suffer the same fate as my brethren. Wait a minute. I found your amulet. Thank you. I thought I would never see it again. What makes it so special for you? It was a gift. I see. What are you planning to do now? Get out of this accursed valley. Perhaps we shall meet again. Farewell. We will meet again, brother.
ice dragon. Alright, my sorry about that, guys. But if a man is thirsty, you need to drink. Hey! I thought you were headed for the ice region. Go ahead in front. I'll be right behind you. No, you won't. You're a coward. there. Also, the faster I beat Gothic 3, the earlier that I have to go to Forsaken Gods by for enforcement, basically. Because, uh, truth be told, and I already said it a couple of times during this entire playthrough, you know, um, I'm really not looking forward to play Forsaken Gods. So, you could say I'm a bit, you know, buying time, if you will, in order to, um, by playing the third run in Gothic 2 then Gothic 3 and that's about the maximum time that I will be able to give myself before I am enforced basically to continue with the playthrough of Adenos and Forsaken Gods well, continue begin let me it's better put that way since I have not begun yet I have to beat Forsaken Gods in order to go to God's form. Which I'm also kind of... But, uh, not as much against than Forsaken Gods. 
Gothic 4, in my opinion, is better than the Satan Gods, but that's a personal opinion. If Gothic 3 and Gothic 3 Satan Gods were one pack, one game. <laughs> Then Gothic 3 and Gothic 3 Satan Gods. Gothic 3 alone, you know, would make Forsaken Gods a bit better. Because it's the missing part of Gothic 3, basically. Which uh, was removed due to the fact that uh, either side, doesn't really matter what side, enforced the release of a Gothic 3 instead of saying, you know, we're gonna extend our release date a bit and make sure that the second God is in there, you know. Well, then they did it again with uh, Gothic 4 and Gothic 4 for the fall of Satyrus. Same bullshit, you know. Fall Satyrus is supposed to be an expansion, but it's the missing part of the game. Of the previous game. Which is, you know, a shame. Because that hurts the entire series hard. You know, the entire series, if I would give it a, you know, let's say a rank from 1 to 10 individually, the rank of Gothic 1 and Gothic 2 would make, you know, about a Nothing there. And Forsaken Gods, for example, would and Gothic 4 and Gothic 4 Fall of the Tariff would dramatically destroy the overall rating of the Gothic series. So if I look, you know, without the Satan Gods and without Fall of the Tariff, the overall series number that I would give is about an 8, perhaps. But when I add the Satan Gods and Fall of the Tariff, it would be more like a 6, maybe a 5 even. Probably about six, you know. I don't really have to kill them. But only because of Satan Gods and Fall of the Tariff. Ghost 4 is also a terrible game, you know. original publishers, that's for one, and for two, the game is so small and so weak that it destroys the entire series by three points at least. Which is a shame, you know. So, should the developers of the Gothic games decide that they will, let's say, release Gothic 5. Don't do the expansion bullshit again, you know. Just add it as an expansion like Gothic 2 style and not Gothic 3 or Gothic 4 style, you know. As well as if you have to pre-stall your release date, yes please. <laughs> to, you know, they have announced Gothic 5 and uh, at, at the point of release a month before, so, you know, they say we're gonna extend it for another six months, maybe a year, to, you know, make sure that the game is good. Sure, that will make some people mad, but the way I look at it is that if they pre-install, well, pre, you know, pre, how we say it, pre-lengthened, I think that's you know, not quite the word to use, but, you know, if you increase the length of your development, the game can only improve and thus become better. And you can have it better that way than having disasters like Gothic 3 
Like on the four and fall off the terror. Both of which are a disaster. And even though, you know, that Gothic 4 is Arcania Gothic 4, you know, is a fan base release, don't name it Arcania Gothic 4, just name it Gothic 4 should you release Gothic 5, because everybody knows that plays the Gothic games that Gothic 4 is nothing more than a cash grabbing fan made, you know, game. Sure, it connects. It, it, it just totally destroyed the entire series. Instantly, you know. When I first played Gothic 2, I was like, wow, this game is great. Played Gothic 3, I was like, wow, this game is great. Beat it Gothic 3, and I was like, hmm, something is missing, you know. The game doesn't feel complete. And then came Forsaken Gods and I was like, mm. an expansion, okay. So I reinstalled Gothic 3 with Forsaken Gods, you know. Totally different start. First issue, you know. Second issue, the game was so terrible. So terrible. You know, it is what it is. I will still play them, even though I am not always happy about it. Alright, so here goes the third dragon. Why do you disturb my rest? Must I bury myself still further? Just so you annoying little mites will finally leave me alone? You humans are curious creatures. Swept away by the icy wind of death, there will always be at least one who rises from the ashes, thinking he is destined to be a hero. But that will soon be over. I shall personally see to it that none of you will rise again anytime soon. Silence! With the power of the Sacred Eye which has been bestowed upon me, I order you to answer my questions. Ha ha ha! Ask away then. Your knowledge will not help you. Who are you? I am Finkrig, Lord of Ice and Snow, Guardian of the Congress, and ultimately, your death. Which god do you serve? What accursed god could ever allow despicable creatures such as you to walk this earth? Do not trouble yourself trying to understand the meaning of our gathering, little hero. Beliar has not only permitted us to be here, he has even commanded it. Inspired by his holy words, we shall not rest until his will is made deed. How can I defeat your master? He is almighty and nigh unto invincible. Should you be so foolish as to meet him, nevertheless, you will die a slow and painful death. This isn't the first time I've heard that. Nearly invincible does not mean I cannot kill him. So, out with it. What must I do? In order to oppose my master, you require things which he would never be able to obtain. And what would that be? You must acquire the finest armor known to your earthly community and wear it on your skin. You need a rune which was crafted only for you. But the most difficult condition of all is that you must win five companions who would follow you into death. Then and only then can you dare to face the master. The power of the eye is extinguished and your time has run out. Not quite.
nothing there. Rest in peace, my brace. Nothing to be had there. Skeleton mages. Save beforehand just to see if he is the one that I need to kill for the uh, show off quest. Nothing to plunder. I think personally it's the uh it's a quest related with the rings, you know, the uh, orc cardinal rings, cold ones. Maybe something as simple as an orc weapon, who knows. The Ice Dragon is dead, and now give me everything you have on you. No way in hell. It's me who's going to be famous for slaying the Ice Dragon. Your small role in this matter is over. Small role. Nothing. 
nothing to be had there. Stupidest mistake that you could have made. You could have lived here. But no, he wants to be famous. Effing, you know, seriously, just effing. It's not about fame. It's not about glory. It's not about honor. Uh, oh shit, it was the one in the ice region. Touche. Without the eye, I cannot beat the final dragon. Was it this area then? I'm starting to have a doubt. Was it one? Was it again? Oh, at the ring of stone. Spit out, of course. But I do need to have the alchemist's bench. So we have to go down. relatively close though to the uh, swamp dragon which is good Grateful death.
Angar, what are you doing here? I was on my way to the pass when I bumped into the orcs. I couldn't shake off the godforsaken brutes. I'll wait a while and then move across the pass. I'll see you on the other side. I don't like to leave you alone. Sure. Off you go. I'll see you. All right, so let's deal with Swamp Dragon. Everything all right with you? These boots are killing me. The new armor is really great, but why do the straps on these boots have to be so tight? If I loosen them, the boots nearly drop off my feet. Where did you get those boots? That old warhorse Bennett made them for us dragon hunters and had us pay him generously for that junk to boot. If I ever lay hands on him, I'll make him eat the things first and then force him to give me my money back. What are you waiting for? For Cypher to get his ass going at last. It's about time we left. Nice camp. You said it. Stinks like a slaughterhouse here. Dead animals and rotten trees everywhere. What are you doing here? I've been sitting here for some time, just waiting for the right moment. Right moment? For what? There's supposed to be a dragon holed up over there. A pretty vile swamp has built up there since he came. I can well remember a time when you wouldn't get your feet wet around here. But now, huh, I'd never go in there alone. Well, Rod is still here, but he'd run at the first sight of meat bugs. What about you? You didn't just come here for the pleasure of it, did you? Let's go in there together. Why not? I could use some help. That's good. Then I can finally get out of here. This stink is unbearable. Just give the word. Bird is the word. Now would be a good moment to get going. Let's go then. Another one of those. Things. The swamp starts just behind the next bend here. I suggest we go straight through here. Or you can also check the passage over there, so none of the beasts can attack us from the rear. What do you prefer? Let's not waste any time. Come here, damn beast. I want to be careful. <laughs> I still got it! If I hit them one time, they're dead. Well, knocked out. I can already hear the creature. We must be careful. Go ahead and see if we can attack.
Woe unto you if you come one step closer. Many of your sort have come. I have swept them all away. Save your breath. Your big words don't scare me, you stinking spawn of hell. Tell me what I want to know, or I will make you drown in your own blood. <laughs> you dare to threaten me, little worm? Name just one reason why I should not tear you into a thousand pieces right now. I'm an envoy of Enos, and I carry the sacred eye on me. You have no choice. You must surrender to my will, or be destroyed. Ah! Say what you want of me. Who are you? My name is Pandador. And you would be well advised if you crawl back under the rock from whence you came. Where can I find the rest of you repulsive creatures? The elements from which everything is made hold this world together. Each one stands for the ability to control a part of the world. Search for the elements and you will find the others. How can I find your master? He has established his hoard in the solid rock of the halls of Idareth and waits there for his destiny. Until he can restore this world to the order which it has deserved, he waits there in deep meditation and Spare me the details. Just tell me where I can find these sacred halls of Irdarath. Ha ha ha. You disappoint me, little man. So you've withstood all of the dangers and overcome almost all of us, and now you fail in your inability to use the higher knowledge. If Irdarath means nothing to you, then you'd better go to your magicians and ask them to be allowed to take care of their worldly needs. For quite obviously, you're not yet ready for the heavy burden of their higher knowledge. The power of the eye is exhausted. Your life ends here, human. Nope. Hey, I've still got it. Not much booty though. Shame. Damn! Is it dead? Calm down. It's over. Boy, what a humdinger. Wait a minute. The swamp dragon is dead. What are you gonna do now? No idea. I haven't thought about it really. At any rate, you could now return to Corinus as a hero. Bet there's a pile to be made out of this. Think about it. Life is not always about gold or money or wealth of any kind. Hey, I've still got it. Wait a minute. What's the matter? And what the qu Nothing to be had there. Myself. Where did you pick that up, then? Is it All the dragons are dead. Well done. If we had more people like you, then it would probably never have gone this far. I don't know who to believe these days. Still can't give him the sword, though. But he knew that all along. Hey! I'd have done it differently. I've killed all the dragons. That's really nice, but to be honest, I'm not particularly interested. 
I already told you, I'd rather make weapons than to set out myself to kill dragons. There is one thing, however, that could interest me. If you could get me some dragon blood, I would pay a high price for it. I'm no better off myself. Touche. Well, don't know how to remove blood. Do you have any news? The dragon hunters have a race. Sh Some don't even know. So I have to get his sword. That's all just gossip. I don't know why he gets so worked up. You hardly know who to believe these days. You didn't get that from me. Just as Before, basically, before I go to Jarkonar, um, to Jarkonar, to, uh, the Horse Vader, to see if it's possible, you know, to get Hoshbag and Urshag to meet up. I doubt it. Setting out to the walls of Edoreth if needed, should I need learning points or whatever, you know. I would have He should have known better. I've got news about the dragons. Report! I killed the dragon in the swamp to the east of here. I went to the oh, western ice almost. region and did away with the dragon there. That's, That's good no news. Secret. Here, I'll give you some money towards your equipment. I All the dragons are dead. All of them? So evil no has been deal. vanquished forever? No, alas not. Their leader still remains. Weren't the dragons the leaders of the orcs? Yes, true. But they also have their own master. We must get rid of him as well. I damn well can't I go. I have to guard the ore, and the cursed orcs are still around as well. You'll have to take care of it yourself. I can't help you. May Inos protect you. All kinds of rumors. Any news? Yes. You're our hero. Getting rid of all the dragons at once is no mean feat, I should say. Indeed. All right, let's get out of here. Enter chapter five. I always act in the name of Enos. It was his decision, wasn't it? Well, I could have. Oh no 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 no! I couldn't care less. I have to uh. You mustn't believe everything you hear. I wouldn't be so sure. Deserve that. Inos enlightens all those who recognize his wisdom. Get the uh, what was his name? Talbin out of here. 
really have to do it, but I'm not entirely sure whether I've done it at least once, so I'm just going to do it for the sake of it. I'll also try to just run through the entire lines of orcs, see how it works out to get Theros a sword. I'll not kill Hosh back, but uh, I will get the sword. Hey, you! Have you seen anyone come by here? Yeah, there's been some mighty funny fellas running around here lately. They strut about and spiffed up armor and act all important. What do those funny fellas want here? They asked me about provisions and equipment. Man, I barely got enough for myself. They were going on about killing dragons and such. Lord knows where those boys came from, but they didn't look particularly trustworthy. Are you alone here at the moment? Yeah. My buddy Angram is up and left. Yesterday he said he was having a vision, someone speaking to him very softly. Well, I didn't hear a thing. I, I just thought to myself, <laughs> he's gone off the deep end. And then he was suddenly gone. I have no idea where he went. If you should see Angram anywhere, tell him he still owes me a lurker skin, the bastard. But I was under the impression that he didn't even want to leave here until the orcs are gone. Like I said, something's wrong with him. I found your buddy Engrom. Yeah? Where is he? I don't think you'll ever see him again. Here, I found this lurker skin on him. The Seekers have taken possession of him. The Seekers? Well, who's that supposed to be? Henchmen of the Nether Realms. They are the true leaders of the Orcs. Buying us. I need to get out of here even if it kills me. Now or never. Alright. So much for you, filthy beast. Faster, man.
next where we're gonna go and prepare to go to the halls of Erdorath. Yeah, that's how you deal with those things. Where will you go? Take me across the pass, please. Just go ahead and cross. Oh, it's so dark in there. No way am I going in there by myself. All right. Thank you. And when you cross, I'll simply follow you. I want to thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see feel free to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and leave any kind of feedback in the comment section down below and uh, I'll reply to them obviously and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna prepare to go to the halls of Airdraft and thus beat the game so uh, thank you guys for watching if you like what you see thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel and if you do subscribe hit the notification and uh, you'll be notified once I will upload any video as one of the first but um, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all in the next episode where we're gonna basically nearly beat the game so uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and hope to